So I think late 1800s, uh, early 1900s, where we saw um, Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, uh, totally up in Newtonian thinking and how we understood how the world worked. And we saw quantum physicists also challenge some of the theories of relativity. I think AI is following a similar trajectory, but we're seeing advances after advances, uh, breakthrough after breakthrough. We're seeing remarkable promise in domains like uh, material science where uh, AI is allowing us to imagine new battery electrolytes, new substrates, new uh, catalysts uh, to usher in this future industrial world. Robotic AI is uh, really a fascinating frontier uh, of AI. Uh, it's artificial intelligence, um, really just uh, inhabiting physical spaces. It's the ability for these frontier models to uh, sense, perceive, and interact with the physical world. So think about a spectrum of utility, like general purpose robots, or self-driving cars, or uh, assembly line robots. It's critical that as we design some of these um, uh, models to operate in the physical world, we introduce friction into the loop. So these models are not just running off doing you know, things that they're not allowed to do, but there's a human in the loop. There's the ability to introduce friction points in their loop. There's an ability to defer back to the human. This is foundational to embodied agents.